projection for the 2019 election? Yes, yeah, so my projection is that the uh, President Biden may likely uh, win the election based on some key um, indicators. Yeah, so my prediction is that President Biden may likely win the election based on some, on some key um, uh, events happening. First of all, you have a president who is very unpopular in the South and very popular in the North. Now, in the North where he's very popular, or in the areas where he's very popular, nobody from that area is challenging him for the election. And then you have a place where he is very unpopular in the South, and in the Middle Belt or North Central, you have so many people, close to 78 presidential aspirants, all jostling for the same office. And if I have a situation where even some of the president's media aides or the Buhari media organization, their paid agents, are subtly campaigning for some of these other candidates from the South. So you have a situation where the vote of the opposition is likely to be splintered across these various segments, thereby handing victory over to the president. Now, we have to understand Nigerian youth, especially the southern youth, yearn for a young president, a president who is competent, who is capable, who knows what he or she is doing, who can, who they can be proud of, even in the international scene when addressing world bodies. But what we have to understand is that this is going to be a two-horse race. None of the other contestants are really prepared for the office of the president. They could be competent, they could be suave, they could be young, but none of them is as yet prepared for the office of the president. Preparation takes a whole lot of time, it takes a whole lot of... Um, 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 it takes a whole lot of process from mobilization, grassroots mobilization. It's, it, it's, it takes a lot of time, and none of these guys really came out on time, and none of them is doing what is needed in planting their parties, building their parties from top up. They just sprang up at the nick of time, all wishing, all claiming to want to contest on the course of the presidency. It's not a tea party, it's, it's, I mean, it's not a day affair, it's not a month affair, it's not a two month affair, it's not a, it's, it's, it's not a half year affair, it's a long whole thing. But, so none of them is prepared. So the only the two really strong candidates with structures, with, with personnel on the ground in all the local governments of the country, and the APC and the PDP. Sadly, now the president's team are really trying hard to convince the Southern News where the president has no support to vote for the opposition, to vote for other candidates other than the PDP. So the, the likely scenario is that these other fringe candidates will end up taking significant Votes, significant political votes away from the PDP candidate first handing victory over to the president.